guys, I'm actually doing like one of my first videos, and this is actually my first story time, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you don't know, my name is Molly Burnett, and thank you for checking out my channel. Okay, the story time that I will be doing today is... I got catfished! Yay! Um... I've actually been catfished more than once, but I am just gonna do my first catfish story ever. Um, so when I was in, I want to say, middle school, I met a guy named Nathan, and then we both ended up going our separate ways and going to like different schools. Um, and then I ended up seeing this guy on Facebook, and I was like, oh, he is so cute. You know, and his name was Dylan. And I was like, well, I'm just going to like a couple of, of his photos. Maybe he'll message me. And so we got to talking and all that. And it got to the point where I was so deeply in my feelings for him. And I ended up liking him so, so much. Um, and he started kind of like pulling away from me and acting really, really distant. What was crazy is... Nathan was Dylan's supposed best friend, and so supposedly Nathan was always with him. Um, so I never thought it would have been a catfish because I've met Nathan, I know Nathan's real, and so I assumed he wouldn't lie about making up a fake person that lived in the next town over. Um, and so they were supposed best friends, and he would always comment, which was kind of a little weird. He would always sit there and um, comment on Dylan's stuff and. What was crazy is, if we were all sitting there commenting on the same photo, you would get one message from Dylan and then another message from Nathan going back and forth talking to each other, but really he was talking to himself. And so he was over there making himself feel good about himself, saying, oh, you're so awesome, blah, 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 and making it seem like Dylan was saying that. And so it was really, thinking back on it now, it is so weird. I don't, I will never understand it. Um... And so, I started liking Dylan, and, of course, I wanted something more. I wanted a relationship and all that. Um, and me and Dylan started fighting a lot for some reason, and I can't remember why, but I just remember fighting with him constantly. We were always mad at each other. Something was always wrong. He was always getting mad at me for something, and I didn't understand it. And so, um, I had asked him... Because I was a little, in a way, I was a little suspicious, but mostly I just, like, wanted to see his face, you know, and talk to him. And so I would ask Dylan to video chat me, and he never could. He said he had a Blackberry, and the Blackberry didn't have a front camera, of course. Um, and so that's why he couldn't do it. But when I added his number to, on Snapchat, because Snapchat has a contact thing where you can add your contacts on Snapchat, and you can Snapchat them on them, um, his Snapchat, I remember thinking, that's weird, that's Nathan's Snapchat, why is Dylan have Nathan's Snapchat on, and I asked Nathan and Dylan, I was like, that's really weird, why do you guys, why is his number with your Snapchat, and he said, well, this was my sister's old phone, and I gave it to Dylan, so... That's why it's like that. And so I kind of just ignored the red flags and kind of just like put it behind me. And I was like, oh, you know, whatever. I'm sure it's just a big misunderstanding. I've got phones from people and had to go through them and delete stuff on there. He probably just didn't delete his number off of Nathan's Snapchat information. And so... I continued talking to him for a while, and when we started fighting, I figured, hey, you know, I'm going to go to his best friend and ask him what I can do to make it better, make this relationship work, because I really care about this guy, so I'm going to do everything in my power to make it work. Um, and so I would talk, I talked to Nathan, and I was asking him, you know, what can I do to make this better? You know, I don't understand why he's so mad all the time. Is there something I should know? Is there something I can help him out with? You know, just tell me, and I'll be there for him. Um, and Nathan was just like, oh, you know, pretend like you're the jealous girlfriend, and he loves that stuff, and so, I was like, 
I mean, it's worth a shot. We're already fighting anyway. It's worth a shot. And so I did that, and he got so mad at me. And so basically, Nathan sat there and was telling me what to do, but he was n the one pretending to be Dylan behind the screen. And it was making. Looking back now, I feel like so stupid. It's so bad. I feel stupid. Um, and so when I was going through and confiding with Nathan, um, Nathan told me he had feelings for me. And so I was like, well, you know, I really care about Dylan. I want to be with Dylan. And then I got to know Nathan and I was like, you know, it's not working out with me and Dylan, and Dylan was over there telling me, you know, you should give Nathan a try. He's a really good guy. He's really sweet. I think y'all would be really good together. And so I decided to, you know, give it a shot, and we started talking, maybe for uh, pursuing a relationship and not a friendship anymore. Ooh. And so I ended up starting to like Nathan a little bit. It was not as close as I had liked Dylan, even though it was the same person behind all the messages and phone calls, um, I started to like Nathan a little bit, so we ended up dating, but I'd always want to go back to Dylan. It was always Dylan. I wanted Dylan. I liked Nathan, but I felt something so real with Dylan, I didn't want to give that up for something I didn't think would last with Nathan when I thought it was just a simple crush that would go away with time. And so, I sat there. And I remember one night I had the weirdest dream. I swear my subconscious was telling me, Molly, look at this. This is weird. This is so many red flags. Why aren't you looking more into this? And in my dream, um, I was talking to Dylan on the phone. And Dylan had ran off with some girl. And so I had texted him. I was like, where are you at? Blah, blah, blah. And I thought he was dead and so I was like oh my gosh you know where are you at and someone else texted from his phone and was like yeah this ain't Dylan blah 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 and it was never Dylan you were texting me this whole time blah 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 and so in my dream my subconscious was like Molly you're not texting the real Dylan you're texting someone else this is not a real guy that you're talking to it's a real guy but that's not the guy behind the picture and so, as fate would have it, um, I ended up finding out Dylan was a fake profile because I was on my Explore channel where, on Instagram, where your pictures, random pictures will pop up that are kind of recommended for you because you like type of pictures like that or you have friends that do. And Dylan's picture showed up on my Explore channel. And I found that weird because I had asked Dylan if he had an Instagram, and he told me no, he just had a Facebook. And so I went to his Instagram, and I was like, this is so weird. He has no pictures with Nathan. He doesn't even look like he wears the school colors he's supposed to. You know, this is kind of weird. And supposedly Dylan was supposed to go into the Army with Nathan. And... So, when he posted, when Dylan posted on his Instagram that he had signed to a college to play football, I was like, I asked him, I was like, what are you talking about? I thought you were going into the Army. I don't understand. Um, and so, I ended up adding his Snapchat and messaging him. And it, I thought it was weird. I was like, well, maybe he just doesn't know my Snapchat. Maybe that's why he's pretending like he doesn't know me. Um, you know, this is a little weird, and so I was like, do you even know who I am? And I don't know why I asked him, but I just felt weird, like, he didn't know who I was. And so I asked him, I said, do you even know who I am? And he said, no. I was like, do you know who Nathan is? He was like, no. Um, and so I asked him a bunch of questions. He's like, what are you talking about? I've lived here my whole life, blah, 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 and it's a state over. Um, I never lived in Arkansas. So, once I figured that out, I ended up calling Nathan out on it. Um, I told him how upsetting it was and how disappointed I was in him. Um, because he had sat there and heard me cry on the phone to him for hours about Dylan and how I could make a relationship work with this guy. And he didn't care enough to tell me that wasn't who I was talking to. I was talking to him. 
And so I was extremely disappointed, extremely hurt. Um, I'm over it now. I'm so happy now. But I remember at that point in time, I was literally in shock because it was the first time I had ever been catfished that I know of. Um, I was, like I said, hurt and disappointed because I had so much love for this boy and he wasn't even who I was talking to. And a lot of people wonder, you know, why can't you stay with the person if you ended up meeting the person that was catfishing you. It's the same person, you know. And I'd always wondered that when I had watched the show Catfish and then when you realize someone had lied to you for that long and didn't take in your feelings and your emotions and how you would feel when they when you found out that this was all a big lie, you know, there's no, I'm sure there's a lot more that he lied about. Um, I actually found out when I was dating Nathan, he ended up cheating on me. Um, I'm actually friends with a girl now. We get along great. Uh, she's a really sweet girl. He played us both, and so I have no hard feelings against her because she doesn't owe me loyalty. He does. We were in a relationship, not me and her. Um, that is a story for another time because I had a very weird, crazy roller coaster of a relationship with Nathan, and I would never go back. Uh, good luck to you, Nathan, if you see this, which I doubt you will. Uh, I hope you're doing great. And I hope you never catfish someone else again, and if you do, I hope they're catfishing you back. I hope it's a man behind the screen. Just because you wanted to do that to me. <laughs> that sounds so mean. Um, but, yeah. That is the story of how I got catfished. I actually got catfished another time right after that relationship. Um, so I stopped online dating. I stopped talking to people online. And I'm actually just kind of doing my school now. And, yeah. I'm not really looking for a relationship anytime soon. I'm just by myself. And I'm completely happy with it. I absolutely love it. I love being single. I love being able to do what I want to do. When a relationship's supposed to come along, it'll come along and I'll be excited for it. But right now, it's just not the time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my first story time. I'm sorry if it was a little all over the place. It was just a very crazy time in my life where... There's so much going on, you know, and a lot of it gets mixed up just thinking about it because I try not to think about it because it is, you know, something that used to hurt really, really bad. But now I'm kind of just ready to talk about it and get my story out there. For any of you, do not be naive like I was. Do not sit there and ignore the red flags. If you feel like he's not wanting to meet you face to face or video chat you so you can see his face. He's probably not real. I would definitely take that as a precaution to not just walk into a wall like I did all at once and find out all at once. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Get out! <laughs> okay guys, I will see you later. Bye!